Okay, joyofkosher.com team, back in effect. I told you guys, I think I like emailed you Erev Shabbos, like saying I just made the most amazing part of yeah. cinnamon buns yeah. ever. Yeah. So like we have to make these. Yeah. Okay, so it's like about this much prepared dough. So I figure, you know what, we'll do a chesed for the audience. We'll help them out. We'll try to weigh this thing. Okay, almost two pounds of prepared dough. If that's what you're looking for. But you can really do it with any amount of dough that you have left, and just you'll have to use the right pan size accordingly, okay? So I'm hoping this will fit in here. I might even need a smaller pan. I'm like just in the beginning of developing this recipe, but it's so awesome. You take your challah dough, the same dough you're making your, your challah with, right? And we're rolling this puppy out. Now, I got this idea um, when I went to Chicago recently for that Skokie event, which was like so awesome. There was this Rebbitzin. I think her name is Rebbitzin Rosenberg. She was the wife of the Roche Kolel in Skokie. And she was super, tomorrow you would love her, super duper health conscious. I mean, everything I was like putting into my like thing, she's like checking all the ingredients. So she told me she does this so simply with her leftover challah dough or extra challah dough. And Easy, simple, delicious, and all healthy, basic ingredients. So Tamara's proud of me, I'm sure. Okay, so we roll this puppy out. Okay, just like that. You see? Okay, Hadassah. My hands are all gross. Cinnamon, cinnamon me. And then Tamara, if you want to open that, in the meantime, we got to open it up. Come closer. Don't be shy. Make it like we love each other. We do still, don't we? I do love. Okay, good. So like really liberally. This is not a measured recipe, guys. Are oh, you starting from the far? I can't reach all there from my belly. I can. Okay. So you'll go do the far. Great. The kids love to do this, right? Like you see what we're doing here? This is like, this is what I call the culinary arts, mm -hmm. right? This is very hands-on. Yes, this is awesome. Do you need more? No, no, I think we're good. Just let's get it all down. I want to save this shirt. I want it to be clean. Watch me. <sighs> okay, Tamar, your turn. Hand crumble. That's what I do with my kids. I switch off. One gets to do the cinnamon, one gets to roll, one gets to brown sugar. Hand crumble, brown sugar. So everyone sees, Soth, you got this, so they see you just want to really liberally cover however much dough you have of cinnamon. Yeah, go for it. Everywhere. Okay, now we're going to roll this up. So you just start rolling it. The first. When you know me, I'm like not so into baking, right? I like really easy, simple desserts. So this is great because I got the dough already. And there's just like 101 things you can do with challah dough. That's what we should do, like hopefully call this section. So here's your cinnamon buns. Then we're going to cut the buns, right? Jelly roll, mm -hmm. simple. No fabulous technique needed here. OK. So we are going to start like this. So look at that, right? Beautiful. So it goes like that. And you, I, put, I put it either way. Just you want to secure the open um, roll. And I like to squish them in, because I like them to be moist and kind of doughy. But the more space you give them and the longer you let them rise. I've made it in muffin tins before, actually. Oh, I've That's made, a good idea. you know that also that little circle? Yeah. Um, the pakala pan that I just used for the onion pocket? Let's bring this closer to me. You can make single ones in that. My kids each make their own sometimes. Muffin tins is a great idea. No, oh, you know what, I think I even may need a smaller one. See, it happens to me too, everyone. We do need a smaller. See, it's like a hard thing to measure. It's sort of like whatever you've got left. So I'm going to get a smaller chin, and we're going to put this all in there. So will you hold it together for me till I uh, get my smaller chin? And we're going to throw that in the oven at like 350 for 45 minutes. See, it's like whatever I have left. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to glaze it when it comes out. OK? Does it have to rise first? I put it just there with my challahs now. All the other challahs have been rising for about half an hour. So I'm going to put it there. I'm going to egg all my challahs, and I'll put everything in at the same time so I can keep track. But I don't really let it rise too much. You let it rise a little bit more. It's a little bit drier. I, I like it like doughy and a little bit wet, you know? So 
nice and tight like that. So here we've got our cinnamon buns. Just pick them up. They've been like, you know, rising a little bit, but not really necessary. Just as soon as I'm ready to make them, I throw them into the oven at 350. So we're going to throw this at 375. We're going to take it down to 350. The cinnamon buns need like 30 to 40 minutes. Guys, are we so excited for them? Oh, totally. <laughs> totally. Okay, awesome. Excited. Okay, so our cinnamon buns, guys. We're so excited. We've been waiting for them like all day. I've been talking about them like forever, right? Yep. These are coming out of the oven. Now, ideally, you want to let these cool for about 10 minutes before glazing, but we don't really have the patience for that. Oh. Yum, yum. Mm. Oh, there's nothing like Nachum, that. you like back there? You can say hi. We won't show you. You can say hi so people know you're here. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, glaze it. Two-thirds of a cup of, what do you call this in England? Icing sugar. Okay, we call confectioner sugar here in Monsey. What do you call it in Riverdale? Okay, we're going to make our glaze tomorrow. I know this is like a very high technique thing that you need me to spell out for you because you're new to the kitchen, Miss Joy of Kosher founder. Two thirds of a cup of confectioner sugar. Oh, someone's laughing here. It's like been a long day, right, ladies? It feels so kooky. I'm like ready to fall asleep. Two thirds of a cup of confectioner sugar she's putting in there. And I'm going to put in there two tablespoons of water. Don't get my dirty dishes, Safia. We didn't clean up all day today. Okay. Two tablespoons of water. If we need more water, we can always add. But then, if not, then you're busy adding confectioner sugar and then more water. And then you're like in this horrible, you know, tailspin. So we prepare that. And Hadass is like a queen of like specialty cakes. So I know you know how to make icing. Yeah. What's that I'm cake you made for your family? Uh, oh, for the hamburger Mo's cake. It's like crazy. It was, it was awesome. Okay, so she, can you believe that? Did you see the picture? No. Okay, it's so incredible and it's gorgeous, and she didn't put on joyofkosher.com. Not yet. Right, that's the. It's, it's, it's on my to do list. Yeah. Okay, right, that is a long list. <laughs> okay, and we're glazing. Oh, this is perfect. This is a great consistency. I feel like my glaze never came out yeah, so good until perfect. you did it. What did you. It was like something about your technique. <laughs> I loved it. I'm serious. It's my secret ingredient. Yeah. So then we glaze. There's nothing right or wrong about, like, right, how to glaze? No. You just get it everywhere. It's just the more icing you can put on, the better. The better. So this is good. And these are cinnamon buns. Now, mind you, everyone, this is the same dough that we did for our onion pockets. The same dough that we did for our garlic knots. Mm -hmm. And now we're trying it with something sweet and delicious. Oh my god, this is like fabulous guilty pleasure now. We're good? We like how it looks? Oh, wow. Yep. <laughs> I would say it seems a shame to break it up and eat it. Does it I really? really believe that. Yeah. No. I mean, ideally, yeah, take I got a picture. I'll take a picture for the joyofkosher.com. Not going to be excited to break into this? Absolutely. Been dreaming about it all day? Looking good. Yeah, but what about the cinnamon The what about the what? He said, you're looking mm -hmm. good. I said, oh, yeah, you're so good. When people tell him he looks so thin, I'm like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. So this is how we break into this. It's dripping. Oh, good. Mm. Look it up. Mm. Was it really dripping? Or you just yeah. wanted to? Look. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. OK, fine. So this is, could try a knife. We just need, oh, so sorry, Hadassah. We just need a knife to anchor. And then, otherwise, I really do use my hands. Try to cut in between buns once we get that first one out. Okay, should be good. Are you gonna, do you think their mouths are watering at home? Yes. It's like so crazy good. Oh, so ooey gooey yummy. Oh my gosh. Okay, and I'll see you. Everyone's getting their own plate by. I'm gonna have to run the dishwasher after this. Now come, I'll pass you one too. Tomorrow, big or small? Mm. Small. Okay, so I'll give oh, this. Oh, that was well worth waiting. Yeah? Oh, absolutely. I'll give this big one to hubby off camera. He deserves it. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Go for it. Okay, this is like medium one. It's the best I could do. Good. So does this taste like yours, Hadassah? Better. Really? Mm. I can't believe it. After all, I worked so hard today. <laughs> okay, and I'm taking a bite, too. 
Okay, I mean, this is so fun. That's what I, I, told, I, I emailed you guys like right before Shabbos. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, is this it? God just made the best product from above. Now, does it at all taste like the same dough? No. no. Not at all. Is not that crazy? It's like not even a sister of the dough. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys want two? I'll give you two behind the camera. I was Hold on. How can I serve this for dessert? dessert. You know, if I want to do dessert. Oh, oh my God. I follow, but you can't. It's so mm. different. And this is the best bite, that center bite. Mm. Okay. And gooey, and it's gooey, and mm. it's warm, mm. and it's sweet. Okay. Sorry. All over my face. Mm. Dripping deliciousness. Joyofkosher.com. Our... 101 things you can do with challah. So far, we've got five. So I think we said we're going to try to run a contest to see what else you can do with your challah dough. Take the basic dough and write and add to it. We'll work out the details of the contest. Visit us. And more. Oh, so embarrassing. Thanks, so. That's what you guys are here for. You never tell me there's spinach in my teeth and icing in my face. I, excuse me. Yeah, you do. I yeah, yeah, you do. Joyofkosher.com, guys. Sticky parb challah dough cinnamon buns. Mm. I love you.